it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I'm back with another haul video of things you have not seen. So I have been shopping all over the place and these items that I'm going to show in this haul video have not been in another video. At least I don't think. And yeah, no. This is the first time you're seeing them as I show them. So let me show you what I got. All right, so the glasses right up here, all these sort of bottles and things, I actually got those from my parents. They were cleaning out some areas. I don't even know the whole story on where, what all they all came from, but we have here this little glass. This is Aquarius. Can you see it says Aquarius on there? And then it has the, what, what their attributes are. And then a little, little lady, she's pouring out her water. So we got that. And then this is a glass for, was it Pepsi 1977? I, mm, I don't actually know this cartoon. It says mumbly, mumbly. I don't know, it's a Hanna-Barbera cartoon. So it says that, huh, I'll have to look up these. I didn't look up uh, these, these glasses. We do have a Care Bear cup. These do pretty well. This is a Pizza Hut from 1983. So this one is Chair Bear or Cheer, Cheer Bear. So there you go. Uh, I think these do about five to eight dollars individually. And then we have Wonder Woman. This one might actually do, do pretty well. I haven't looked it up either, but it's a Wonder Woman glass from 1978 DC Comics. It's a really good one. It's a little cloudy because I haven't watched it. But other than that, the graphics are really good. So that might be a good one. I will have to look that one up specifically. Or, well, you know, like everything else. We have a little Farm Fresh bottle. This is a half pint. So you got a little half pint milk bottle. Not sure what these will do, but I think I think they're cool. They're a cool size. So those are fun. And then we have this one here, DCS. I don't know what DCS, dairy something or other, right? But it's a bottle, and this is one quart, and that's what that one is. Now this is one of my favorite pieces that I found in a while. It's very interesting. So let me take the lid off. You'll see it's Amberina. We've got this wonderful, look at that. It is so beautiful. And I don't know, I haven't researched this one either, but it's, there's the texture on here is beautiful on the outside. Has a good weight to it. This little handle is cool. I need to tighten the knob on there. But isn't that different? I don't even know if this lid goes with this, but it, it's kind of cool the way that it looks. It's very bo bohemian looking. So I think this was like two or three dollars at a yard sale and I don't know what I would charge for it. Just based on the color, we've got autumn coming up. I wouldn't take anything less than probably 25. But as you know, when it's like that, I'm thinking somewhere around 40 because it looks really cool. So we'll see. I need to do a little research on this on this specifically, but it's really really lovely look at this we've got a little swanky swig here in the pink we got the pink lattice work and the, the black i love that one this one is not marked still a little cloudy i have to wash it but gosh that's pretty i'll probably sell that in a live sale for six to eight dollars because it's color because of its colors and then we have some more of these napco wear cracked egg footed planters these i bought off of somebody on Facebook. They actually want, they only wanted $5 for the pair of them. These will sell for about $12 each in this size. So we've got the really pretty pink color and this sort of gray color. So I love those, those are very nice. This little, <laughs> this little thing cracked me up at the yard sale. So I bought it for 10 cents. Yeah, grand total of 10 cents. It's wax, by the way, it's a little chipmunk. It's potpourri fragrance. I don't think it has much smell anymore, but it's just adorable. So I'll sell it for like $5 during a live sale because it's a cute little face for chipmunk collectors out there. Now this is something really fun. This was part of an auction lot I got a while ago and this was at the very bottom of one of the boxes hiding. And they're very cool. They're these old ambassador uh, card holders. So we've got the deer, these all open up, you know, they, they pop together to make like a, 
I'll show you the front picture. And then we've got the Santa Claus and this other deer. They assemble fairly simply. Here's what they look like. So I thought those were neat. And um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll keep them or if I'll sell them. Uh, they were originally $2. This looks like it was from the 70s though, based on the graphics and the all that kind of stuff. So it does have a, I'm actually confused. That's not a date, is it? No, it's not a date. Well, they're cool. So there's a barcode. Now, if my memory serves me, when, when did barcodes come out? Was it 1974? I can never remember if it was 74 or 78. Darn it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 74. I'm going to say that they, they began in 1974. Okay. So then we have the West Bend Hot Cold Server. It's the Penguin. We have the Big Light Handle. I love finding the ones with the Big Light Handles, though they also came in wood handles. But this is the Big Light. Oh, there I am. Has the little penguins right on the side there. And then on the bottom, there's like rust or something inside. I'll have to take it apart and pull that out. And then we have the West Bend logo. It says hot and cold. So you can serve both hot and cold items in it. Or just use it as an ice bucket. It's insulated. So there we go. These sell for about $20 plus shipping. All right, we do have all this doll furniture. I'm gonna save that for the end, just in case people aren't too interested. We're gonna keep going though, and I'll come back and we'll show you all these things I got. And this was $15 at the Salvation Army. I'm just now getting to it, and I'll pull them out and I'll show you what I got. So here is something I actually picked up when we were down in Indiana and visiting Misty. This was at a uh, Misty with Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter. And I went, we went shopping and this was not recorded. Uh, we went to a, 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 we went to a store and we didn't record in it. So this we have the, oh, so you could put some stuff in his mouth. I, I thought it connected straight through, but that's cool. So you could put something in there and it's an elephant planter slash something else you could do. And it's marked Japan. So that's really neat. And I forgot how much this was. I think it was like three or $4 and I would sell it for about 15. It's in pretty nice shape. I had to buy this chocolate bunny. It's like an Easter bunny and it's chocolate, which is just kind of a cute idea, you know. It is redware and it's another planter. I think this was like $3 as well. And I would sell this for like 12. We have a couple um, Lusterware ships. These are salt and pepper shakers. They took all the tags off, so I'm trying to remember. I think this was like $3 and I would sell these for about eight to 10. It's sort of different with the ships. I don't see that kind of thing very often, so I picked those up. Now this, I'm going to contemplate if I'm going to sell it or keep it. I like it so much. I haven't seen anything quite like it. It's this souvenir kind of a thing. Look at this crackle, this crackle foil on, on there, and it's in glass. It has these little dangly things, and then it has the fake shrubbery on the inside. And what's the best part is, it's meant you're able to take out this postcard and put your own in. So you just, you lift it upside like that and you put your own postcard in and you can use it like that. So it's a nice like little souvenir kind of a piece. Isn't that neat? This is marked made in Japan on the bottom too, by the way, in that little blue sticker. Um, this was I think $9 at the antique mall, but I bought it anyway for myself because I haven't seen anything like this before. And I think it's a great little display piece for, you know, if you have a postcard that you really like. In fact, I do, and I didn't know what to do with it. And I, um, now I have a place for it. So we have here two little cactus salt and peppers. These were $3 for the pair. And again, cactus items is something, are something that I don't see all too often. So I picked those up and I would sell them for about eight to $10. The little cactus salt and pepper shakers mark Japan. They have some age to them. And then we have this Sequoia. This is a Sequoia pottery, and it has the really pretty gold coloring in there with the handle. This, and I'm, I don't remember the price that I paid. I think it was like four or five dollars, but I purchased it anyway because we have fall coming up, and I think that it's really striking. Nice little tidbit dish that I could sell for about fourteen dollars or so. Has the sticker on there too, so I thought that was just really 
nice at the antique mall. In the same sort of vein of Sequoia Ware, we have Treasure Craft and we have the little Hawaii pineapple dish. It's lovely because it has the Treasure Craft logo right there. It says Hawaii and it is marked on the back Treasure Craft USA, 1959. So this one should do pretty well. I don't remember how much I paid for this one. I think it was like three or four dollars though and I would sell it for about 14 or 15. This is really nice. It's like an Empoli Italian piece in the pink. Has the lid. I think this was from my parents as well. So it's this glass, sort of a brandy sniffer kind of a shape. But it's a covered candy dish or something like that. And it's in very nice shape. No chips or cracks. I just need to wash it up and that should do pretty well. In fact, I'm not sure how much I'm going to put on it, but it would be somewhere between 20 and 30 I would think. So, okay, that takes care of all of those items. Now let's go ahead and look back over here at the doll furniture. Now again, this was all $15 and I'll go fairly quickly so we can see. Uh, stuff like this, it's broken. I might put a, a section together, like a little lot of broken items. There's no door and the glass is, well, the plastic is broken there. So I might put like a, and then it's missing a hind leg too. So that's, Let's just pretend I put a, a, a thing together of that sort of stuff. We have a little chair. Okay, that was included. Here's a rolling cart. <laughs> then this chair here, it's broken too, so we'll put that in with that. And now this is really pretty. It's a kind of a dresser. I think it's missing a drawer. It might be in the bottom, but we've got that piece. Little baby buggy, that's really sweet. I think that's a good one. This is a really nice bench. So like a bench like this, I would think would sell for about $12. So it's in very good shape. So there you go, that's $12. And then we have that same bed. Okay, that doesn't go, this mattress goes to the other bed. But there you go, that's really pretty. Goes with that dresser over here, or the vanity rather. Um, just a little piece of fabric. That might be like a sheet or something for a bed. This brass tub is super cool. Now this doesn't even have to be used in a, a doll. Thing. Like you could do something else with that. That's pretty cool. And I would think just for a brass bed, you're looking at like $12 or so, just because it's cool. So you've got that. Now here's another chair. This chair is in good shape. I think a chair like this would go for about, I don't know, five, ten dollars $10, somewhere in there, like eight bucks. I haven't priced out furniture for dolls, so I don't know what they're going for, but I think a lot of work goes into these because they're small, so and you can't just mass produce them. You have to have people doing it. So you got the little wood chair, rocking chair. That should do fairly well rocking, as rocking chairs go. Okay, and oh, here's more of that pink. This might be part of a, is that a pillow? Okay, that's a pillow and then something else. So here's another bed. Now I think this goes with that. Maybe this all goes with this. I don't know, it doesn't really fit, does it? Well, there's another bed. Uh, we'll see what that does for that bed. Little metal wash bin, wash tub. Uh, art that's not in great shape. This is a nice little buffet kind of a piece with the mirror, the attached mirror. And the fireplace, early American fireplace. That's pretty good. So that's nice. Here is a sink. I mean, a sink like this, what do you think should sell for like at least 10 bucks? The door is open down here. I don't think the drawer is open. And it has a ceramic top. Then you have an old ice box. This alone, again, another item that's kind of old looking. It could sell by itself. You don't even need a, a doll. You could put miniatures in it. It's very, just really cute. Here is another like little, another little piece you could put stuff in. Looks like it would have had a hutch on top that may or may not be in the bottom. I don't know. So that's kind of different. It's another rocking chair. This one's missing an arm. Again, if the if the pieces are in there, I could glue that back on and we'll have a ro working rocking chair to go with the other. And then here's like a little house. Isn't that nice? 
flip it around. There you go. Even smaller furniture inside of that one. That's cute. Yeah, I could sell that too by itself. Then we have a fireplace. Nice. Mm, it's missing something, right? <laughs> it's missing its legs. I don't know what this is. This is plastic, kind of junky. Here is a metal cast iron, I believe it's cast iron, stove. It says queen and some burners on there. Oh gosh, look at all this small stuff in here. And we've got another chair. That one matches the other one. Right over there. Here's a bed. I guess it's like collapsible, like a baby bed. Okay. I'll have to look at some of the stuff and see how it goes together. Here's something. A little sheet, I guess. What in the world? Does it hold a bird cage? All right. Ooh, look at that peacock chair. I'm calling it a peacock chair. I don't know if you'd call it, whoops, anything else. That's really adorable. I wonder what other pieces coordinate that in there. So there's like the little white metal chair for your patio. Here's a dress form. And then here's an ironing board. Another fabric thing. Gosh, there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm not sure what, whoops, I'm trying to open it up. It's all wrapped up. I wonder if it's because it's dainty. What's inside of here? Oh, little Coke bottles. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That'll sell by itself. <laughs> that is nice. Some of this, I haven't even seen a lot of the stuff down here. I, I kind of looked through a little bit, a little footstool. I didn't look at any of the stuff down here yet. Here's another bathtub. That's a good one. Tootsie Roll. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. 2005. Here is a broken table. Again, if the leg is down here, we're in business. Here's a sewing machine hanging from a thing. That's plastic though. The sewing machine is plastic. Ooh, a stained glass lamp. Part of it. Oh gosh, okay. This is broken, so that'll just go in the trash, I think. It's a broken sink. Um, what is this supposed to be? Oh, a refrigerator? It's a plastic one. It is made in Hong Kong. I'm trying to open it up. There you go. That's colorful. Oh my goodness, all of these things. I'm tempted to just dump this out on the table. There's a toilet with the with the um the tank that's up above. Ooh, there's the matching table. That goes good with the the chair. So we have a chair and a table, is that all? Oh, and then this little baby buggy could go out on the porch too, maybe, I don't know. Is there anything else that matches those? There's Smarties in here. Um, you know what, let's dump this stuff out. Oh boy. It'll just be easier to look through, I think. Okay, here is a bed. This goes to something. A ladder, a wooden ladder. That's trash. That's trash. Trash. Here's a picture frame. A heart. That's trash. This candy's trash. The Smarties trash. Let's remove the trash. Okay. There's like random legs and stuff. I so that's trash. So we could a little bowl. We can. Oh, that matches a little stool. Do we have the leg to that? Do we have the other leg? It's shaped like that thing. Do you see it? Do you see the other, another pixie stick? And a smart, what did these people do? They ate candy on the way to donating it and they just threw it in the bag? Um, oh, a little baby book. Oh, cute. And a little mirror and a bag. You can see, I don't have to like point everything out. You can kind of like look around and see. There's just a lot to look at. A little 
little bin, little pail. Miniatures, what is this? Like a plate and a pipe or something? Hangers. Aw, oh, backgammon set. Ah, uh, here is a piece to something. Don't know if that would go to something that was broken. Just like this little wood half thing and all these other little wood pieces, very random. I'll have to look those over. Here's the leg to a chair. Now, did we have a chair that didn't have a leg? Or did we have a, there was a thing that didn't have a leg, I noticed. Ah, it was this. Well, I have a leg to it, but still no door. Oh, here's a shelf. Do you think that shelf goes into it? Yeah, that's one of the shelves. Oh, and here's another shelf. Okay, interesting. So, it had wood shelves. There you go. You could get glass for that, and then you've got a nice little display piece for miniatures. That's good. Oh, does this go to it as well? Do you? No, you don't go to it. But this leg goes back here, I think. Oh, that's not the right leg. Is it? Oh, a little stool. Aw. What are you? What are you? Oh! Well, your ears are broken off, but aren't you adorable? What is that? It's a little baby, little baby bowl. Honestly, though, if one leg is missing, maybe it could still stand up with one leg. I'm Now I'm just adamant that I want this... You could take the plastic out, leave it all open, and then just use it as miniature storage. No, you need a leg on the back, don't you? You need a leg. Needs a leg to stand on. I guess... You just glue that one on. It's not the right leg, but you could just glue it on. Uh, okay, well, that was fun. So I think... Oh, no, that was the same wood piece there. I think that um, we're looking at about $100, $110 worth of furniture here. A lot of it would be sold off um, during maybe Friday night sales. I'll probably group up some of these smaller things. Uh, maybe the, group the, the milk bottles and the food up and that kind of thing. And then, um, what else? Some of these would be sold individually, like these larger pieces, like that bench. Maybe the two chairs would go together. Oh, I keep thinking that I saw um, the other arm to that, but I, it's not there. Uh, yeah, so a lot of this could be sold off together. Oh, this is another chair. Oh, wait a minute. That, that, that's the chair that had the leg. I think that's the leg. Yep, that's the leg to that. Do we care? I don't know. I could just tape it on there and then sell it. You get three chairs instead of two. But all in all, I think I did really well with, with this, uh, this, bunch, this bunch of toys. Sell some of it off individually, like the, the tubs and the chairs and maybe the bed, if I can just figure out what goes to that. Uh, ooh, no, that doesn't go to that. <laughs> what am I thinking? What am I thinking? I know one of these goes to, it has to. Maybe that one? I'll figure it out, but really fun stuff. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.